first thing first, we will need to um we will need to we will need to come down here and create our foot um our bottom nav. I don't want to call it footer because we are not designing for for web. I want to use the normal naming convention for mobile app. So we are designing uh so we come down to our design system and because we are using this material guy i guess oh i did not have it oh what a pity what a pity so in that case i don't really need to go elsewhere i don't want to fluctuate my brain just like yesterday and then from the low file that we have we have three things here so let me just copy these three things here and then come down to my um Come down to my design and then this is the size remember we are working with a weight of 375 so you should make sure that it is 375 and then we want to we want to have home icon we want to have favorite icon and then we want to have profile icon and then it's navigation so what we are going to do is i can quickly create a frame a frame of 375 375 um, by width. Yeah, I'm right. And then to make sure that uh, it's 60, let me use 60 to be on a normal. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is to create. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is, okay. Sorry, one minute. Okay, so the first thing I will do is to let's add something like that, uh, LinkedIn. Can you guys still hear me? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Okay, because I'm seeing you lost your connection here, and then it's okay. Oh. So the first one is I will just need to come down here and say home. So let's just use something that is sweet and not too busy, I guess. So I will just use now. Another thing you should consider while designing is this. One thing that you should consider is this. If I should use this. You can see this is solid, hmm? or let me say field. This is field here. If I should use this, this is outline here. Hmm? So the entire uh, icon that I'm going to be using on this my nav will be either field. If I should start with field, will be either light or outline. If I should use outline, so I must make sure that I use I maintain one particular style. So let's use field here. I bring down home. Then let's look for favorite. Favorite. Did I get that right? No. Favorite. Yeah, let's use uh, what somebody suggests. Remember, we are using field. So is it that we use this law or we use this or we use this? Okay, I guess this one looks like folder and then it has something favorite bookmark. So let's use this. And then we have profile. Then we have profile. So remember, we should maintain our field. I can still scroll to page two here to see uh -uh, how can this one be a profile? It is people. So let's look for field here. This is also field here. Yep. 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 So this one looks field. Yeah. So these are the three icons that I will be using. And then I will be utilizing the auto layout. Yeah, auto layout. Remember I told you I won't be explaining. And then by default, icons are 24 by 24 in size. And then icons are square. Some of them, almost all of them are square in size. And one thing you should also take note is that um, if I should adjust this now to like, let's say 20, it's, uh, it gets distorted. That means the aspect ratio has been tampered with. 
you can see it is now longer like those people in china sorry for using that word <laughs> they are they are somehow it's 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 just tiny so some of you that watch k drama i guess you understand i'm not i'm not calling names yet but to uh to, to do that to make sure that whenever you adjust one side um the other side will be affected there is a lock uh, proportion here yeah lock proportion so you can you can um click on it to lock the proportion that way to, to to make sure it is constrained when you select 30 for example because it's a square both of them will be 30 30. that is when you've clicked on this uh, constraint proportion icon so for the sake of this our class i'll be locking anything that looks like image and icon if i should import any icon or import any image i'll be locking it because if i'm bringing images and i want to adjust the size it must maintain aspect ratio so i don't want to be disturbed by that so i'll just lock it and then to every object that you select that is when you'll be able to lock it it's not that when i lock one it locks all no it doesn't work that way if I select this one now, I will need to lock it as well. Don't think because I've locked this one as it has locked all. And then I will still need to bring it back to 24. And then this is, um, I'll start with profile. Or let me start with favorite. Favorite. Doesn't want me to put you. Let me remove it. Favorite. So, this is the icon of favorite and this is the text of favorite i'll bring both of them together and then now there is something they call active and inactive state active and inactive state so if you are designing for nerves you need to understand this one as well so if the icon is the active screen that is there is a simple color that will be visible to the user if it is inactive there is a color that will be visible to the user so if it is active, we want them to be having our primary color. But if it is, no, sorry. If it is active, we want them to be having our primary color, yeah? But if it is not active, we want them to be having a gray, gray color. So do we have anything gray? No. Oh, let's, let me see if I can use this uh, color here. Primary here, yeah. We can just have this as, the inactive so by default everything is sorry everything is inactive primary so this one also and this one also select and then primary so by default they are all these and then i select these two guys together i hold my shift and then press the a so by doing so i have applied uh auto layout now Auto layout has been automatically applied to this. This text, I want to change this text to something that we have already proposed. That is uh, subheading body bold, body regular. Oops, that's too big actually. It's too big. So I will just need to break this guy and then C16 and then turn it back to 14. And then, yep, let me change it to medium. And then, um, minus 0.5 that means minus 0 0.5 should be a little bit straight yeah so this now and then this should be hog yeah hog yeah and then i will duplicate this guy now the way i walk it somehow i'll duplicate this guy and then just drag this mr man since they are all 24 this guy too is 24 locked constraint i'll drag it and then move it inside this auto layout and then delete this one so automatically it will change and then i will just need to change the profile here so this one is the profile let me be renaming them profile and then this one is a five favorite and then i duplicate this auto layout again and then i drag this bring it inside this auto layout remove this icon this one automatically adjusts itself and then i bring this home yeah so this is it now ladies and gentlemen this is home and then this is favorite and then this is profile 
So that is as simple as that, but it's not done. We need to bring them down inside this place. So in that sense, I will need to create uh, content, I mean container rather, container for these, um, for these three things, for these three, um, for these three guys. So with that, I can just use the auto layout again, control A, I mean shift A, so I can see navs. So this is the nav here. And then I'll bring it inside this guy. And then the nav here happens to be like this. So let me zoom in. In the up layer that I've applied to this, I want to leave space. So with that, I can just click here and then select, um, if I should say fill container, this guy also fill container, this guy also fill container. Then when I adjust this guy, sorry, I will bring this one to the center. Instead of using 36 here, I will use auto. So when I select auto and I drag this guy, it's going to adjust itself automatically. And I drag this guy, it's going to adjust itself automatically so i have done for i'm done for inactive so this is but by default the home page should be active so i will come down here and then change the color the selection color to our primary color so this is the active color now then i will come down here and change it to a component remember for reusable purpose I can convert this to a component. And then I want to make different instances or I want to make different instances of this. So I can come down here and then add variant. So this is another variant now. And then I will change the name of the variant to, this would be the profile, the profile variant. So instead of that, I, instead of this, I will change the color here to primary color and change this one to this. So anytime I navigate to favorite, I'll be getting this. And then I can still add plus. When I click on it, add more variants, this plus, I will add more variants. So let me just bring this up here. And then on this level, this will be the profile. Click on this, select the primary color, and here change this to this. So here now, I have automatically changed the, uh, I've selected my, my profile, I mean my bottom now, and then I can change the name here, call it bottom now. Yeah. So here I will just need to change the name from default to um, home. So I can easily switch. So this is profile, as you can see, this is variant three, which is profile. Okay, this is favorite, sorry. This is favorite. And this is profile. Yeah. So by the time we start designing, you will see one of the usefulness of adding variants to, to your designs. I don't need this guy again. So I'll copy this guy now, and then I will navigate down to our high five. And at the bottom level, this level here, I will just paste. When I paste, I bring it down here. And then um, just let me bring up the ruler so that you guys will see. This is where our end stops. So I will remove this and then I'll bring this in like this. So in that sense, I can get rid of the ruler. I don't need it anymore. I will add a little bit top shadow to all these guys. Do we have shadow property before? Actually, no. So um blah, blah 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 let me just fill this guy with white yeah so that i'll be able to see my shadow so here i can adjust the shadow effect now i believe some of you even matters you will know at least graph and then you know x and y axis so when you are dealing with that mathemat that your graph in secondary school or i i tertiary institution they ask you to draw graph you have the x-axis that ranges from left to right, and then the y-axis that ranges from the top to bottom. So 
as default now you can you guys can see that our uh, our our shadow is on the bottom side that is y side four so if we say minus four that means it's going up did you guys see so if i want it to be at the top i will use i will just change four to minus four and then any other um properties you want to add you want to increase the spread you can just give it two you can see how uh, how how long it is it's spread more but for now i just give it zero and i don't want it to be too bright because it's too sharp here it's too dark i don't want it i just want it to have a unique um unique effect so i can read increase the blow to like five so that it blows more and then instead of 25 percent opacity i give it just um 15. yeah so it's it's very light now i will i will now save this guy as a uh as as what as time so, shadow and now nav shadow so this is my nav shadow i will apply it here also as nav shadow i will apply it here also as nav shadow yeah so anytime i use it i'll be able to, so i can get rid of this color here instead of getting rid of it i can just turn off the visibility yeah so coming back to my i5 now if you look at it very well you will see that there is a shadow there so as simple as a b c all right we move then we are done with the bottom. We are done with the bottom. Then the top now. Also, we will need the top as a component. Let me just grab these guys. Grab these guys. Come down to your design system. And then um, on this level, I will bring this guy. And then this guy is having the side, the logo the logo that is uh remember it's also going to carry dimension of 375 yeah 375 375 yeah so i can call this uh um top bar yeah top bar and then we will need a logo so this particular logo size here is 42 i don't know yeah let's just call this 50 so that we're going to have a clearer logo and then we have a search field on our design system do we have a search field here do we have a search field oh my god i did not bring all these guys well 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 one of my guy he loves to say that any small thing he shouts well 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 so the first thing we need is the logo. Where do we have the logo? Where do we have the logo? Do we have the logo here? I removed it. Shit. Am I the one? I don't think so. So let me just bring this in, copy it, and then come down here. I'm trying to zoom so that you guys can see what I'm doing clearly. So now this is one of the issues I used to have anytime i'm adjusting so and and i okay just let's go on i will adjust it don't worry so here now i can reduce these guys to 11 first and then the arc city owns i reduce it to 10 first so i'll be able to see what i'm doing so arc city owns i guess somebody did something reduce this also and then it's too close to the margin. This one I can change it to like 10. And then this one I can change it to like 8. Actually, 8 is damn small. So here, here, and here. Sorry, the two text on group. Now we are dealing with this. The two text should go with auto layout, and then they should be at the right hand side then this guy here should be closed up yeah so that my auto layout will function very well so accident forms and then this guy is also should be aligned to the left and then after that we have auto layout to it. 
there are multiple players that I still need to explain as time goes on, but let's just stick to this for now. And then we need a search field. So let me just pick this text, search here. And then, thank God, we already have this icon here. So I can grab it and then bring it down here, search here. So change the color to our primary light and then change this guy to also to primary light. So both of them should, oh, sorry, I just need to change the text here uh, to open, tap, and then it should be regular, then it should be zero, then uh, it should be a little bit smaller, then sorry, it should be two here, so it has such it's here, then here and here should be auto layout, then auto layout should be converted to a large out um, something here. And then I will come down here and adjust the padding here. So the padding, I can call it a uh, ready. Ready is down too much. So I, I call it, let me start with five here. Yeah. Five here, nine here, merge, seven. Yeah give it uh, a rounded corner of uh, 15 then change the fill to this and then the padding left and right sorry i can just bring only the left to like five or uh ten rather yeah so i don't like this color here sincerely speaking the color is not standing standing like something else so light color what color is that primary yeah i will change these guys something else yeah and then i will reduce them thank you yeah Okay, okay. So search fields, and then we have this our guy here properly structured here. So here I can change its color to this guy, and then uh let me toggle the field and then change this to 100 so change this guy to primary light yeah after that this guy this guy and this guy should be called the layout under that yeah and they are properly centered now so i've done this my top bar i can add a little bit drop shadow also to it during that i can use the nav layer and then break it up adjust this you know nav is up this one should be normal four we want it at the bottom to see what i've done i can just quickly sorry click quickly do something real quick yeah so that you guys will see the shadow effect here yeah so you'll be able to see the shadow effect here Okay. Oh, I love this color style. Okay, so with that, sorry, I've opened something else. My hand is too fast. Okay, okay, okay. Then coming down to our home screen, I can just come down here and then oh, what did I copy before? Sorry top bar, copy, and then paste. Here now, I have this guy. Remove these guys. Yes, now, we are on the way. So the next thing we are going to do now is, we are going to ask, the user to get we are going to give the user option here to get the best property 
and then they should be able to click and then there should be a drop down so we are designing this very very fast so filter and this let me just bring these two guys together we don't really need them as a component so oh sorry 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 i need to do something this is not yet a component i need to turn it to a component then copy it and then go down to my high five right click on it paste to replace so so that it's going to be an instance just like the way we have some um variant instance here various instance here, instances so um here i can just change this to uh so adding medium yeah this is cool yeah and then we want to have in fact i do we have that black color yeah this is our dark color we are not using black because this black color is gotten is 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 derived from from this our primary color so it's not totally black and that is how you should always design one of the things that make a design great is when you have instead of saying the dark the black should be normal black it should just come in as the 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 the, the dark part of your color you add your primary color to black and then it makes it all unique so you can just let me bring this black and this our thing together here so you see it well you can see this our big text is not black this is the real black but if you zoom out and then you take this one off it it looks pretty much like a black so this is how some of the designers that is how they deal with uh, their their thing so here now i can just have filter and then this guy here i don't know why it's just too far from me so i can just come down here plug in iconify and then i can say filter Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I can use this or this. I love this. So users are easily, they can easily understand that there is something here. So here now I can ungroup it first. Ungroup it. So coming down here, thinking about bring it this down together and then okay instead of that it's talking myself so this text i will bring body medium 16. yeah so here the the, the text filter and the icon are too close to each other because they have um, um the spacing between them the gap between them just two so as i mean i've declared variable here i will just i will just apply variable but don't worry i was using it yesterday and i was just laughing so let me just be declaring normal manual way here and the spacing here i can just say five so so that is going to leave itself and then the color also should be our dark color and then this guy shouldn't be too far you understand what i mean this guy shouldn't be too far because when i see filter here and i have to change my lens i mean my eyes to run around to see where i'm gonna take it's 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 somehow so and again it should be coming down not going up because i want it to drop down so it should be angle of angle of zero then opposite, let's say 90. Oh, sorry, I, I missed it. That should be 180. Yeah. And then, yeah, 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 yeah. Anytime they click on any of these things, 
sorry, I need to bring this filter right inside this my auto layout. Yeah. So we know that they are all together and they are carrying the same five um five pixel gaps between each other. But this filter, yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. So this one has extra spacing around it. That is why uh, it's like this. So what I'm going to do, is, let me just ungroup this first. Mm, does it look mature like this? Let me leave it like this. It looks mature this way. So there are still some other things we can be adding real quick. Put this color here. Perfect. Okay. Now, guys, I want you guys to talk. Let me just duplicate this or oh. duplicate. So I have this only for those who have eyes, please. Now, look at this two. This one has a little bit stylish gray, and this one has plain white. Which one do you think we are going to go for? Which one can we go for? Let me bring this like this so that you guys can see it. Which one can we go for? Anybody with any any suitable eyes? The first one. You said? So the first one. The first one. You mean this one with gray color? Yes. Okay. Somebody else that want to say something. Um, I think it should be the white. Then maybe give them the option of dark mode. The one with white. Mm -hmm. Okay. The one with white. You know, at times you see some designs and then they have rounded corner like this, like this. Or let me even give it for the five. That's the normal something. Some people used to do design like this. Uh, that's not my pattern, actually. I don't really do it. Yeah, that's, I don't know why. You know, if I'm designing for more cop, I will do it. But for a plain design like this, I, I literally don't, don't see many to it. So you guys are saying I'm 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 going to vote. Oh, we are going to vote for the best for the best one. So color they said we should go for the one with the gray background. And then um Catherine and then Drew Simi Sadik said they should go for the one with white. Somebody also speak up. I don't know. Somebody also. I need one more person. I need so one I more person. <laughs> Um, I said maybe if you go for the white, then give them the option of dark mode to turn on dark mode. Okay, but we are not implementing that right now because dark mode. One of the thing dark mode is contracts. We need to change the text, the uh, the the the, 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 the logos and the lights also. Dark mode. This is not dark mode. This is still light mode. This one that we have here is still light mode because the content here. They are still the same thing. That mode will change the text from um, black to white. Yeah, so it's it's not dark mode and light mode. This is still light mode, and we are dealing with light mode strictly. Yeah, we are dealing with light mode. Okay, tell me, I did doctor said white. Okay, so I think you guys voted for white and then we go with white. A lot of you guys voted for white. Well, instead of white, let me see F5, F5, F5. I love to use something like this too. Yeah, this one looks a little bit lighter than the previous ones. Look at it. This is the previous one. If I should use my normal one, 
look at it here. What do you see to this? So this one looks better. I love this than plain white. So we shouldn't be just using plain white. I'll just use F5, F5, F5. I love it so much, so, 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 so much. So we have filter here, and then we have all our guys, we have blah, blah. So the filter is done, the featured property, and this guy. So featured property, featured property, featured property. Then the featured property should carry also body bold. Yeah, body bold. And then some of you will think I will use secondary color like this. What do you see to this? Like Anybody? It. You don't like it? Huh? Yes. Okay. Then I just want to be noting some things. What if I use this blue, our primary color here? Or I should use the dark. The first one is fine. You said? I said the first one is fine. The orange? Yes. Somebody said, I don't like it. OK. I will, we are all doing this all together. And then another thing, of, um, another thing I want us to know is I don't want to use auto layout for these guys. Using these guys and this guy. I want them to all be line spacing. But if I should use auto layout, automatically it's going to give me the base of what I want. So I can use distribute. These ones are alignment, and then I can distribute. So distribute vertical spacing. So this, when I click on this, is going to give me the adequate space between the get the best property filter and the picture property. That's what I want. So I'm going to select this vertical spacing, and then automatically Figma will help me adjust it. So this is my design. I just want it to look mature. So in that sense, the next thing we are going to be doing is this featured property here. It's oh wow. So I need I need um, a rectangle here that I will just start with 375. That means it's files a base and then and reduce it a bit. Yeah. So here I have this because it shouldn't have the same lines, I mean, horizontal spacing as this. So because it is what we want to discuss about. And then I can just re increase the uh, border radius with just 10. So it looks not really sharp. Hmm? Not really sharp. And then we can add that picture. We can add our picture and then add chopping complex, blah, 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 blah. So we add something here. Let me quickly just draw this, our navigation. There's something they call drawer in Flutter by Google. So if, it is, if they are using Flutter, it will be very easy for them to to achieve this so i can come down here and then use this it's too long actually so duplicate this and then make this uh fur so So this guy should be secondary. Yeah. They are absolutely too small. They are absolutely too small. So I can give them six. Absolutely too small. Absolutely too small. 
yeah so yeah 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 all the layout and then put it at the center so that's for that here now i can have uh the image oh, simu i want to draw times again here but we are not drawing the times let me go to unsplash real quick unsplash So what am I going to look for? Anybody with any suggestion? Two flex. Two flex. That's what we have. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. let me pick this this one looks as if we want to sell something so instead of me just looking around at it wow this is very sharp so now remember i told you i'll be holding the constraint proportion and then just dashing this dice <laughs> How small it is now. So, yes, I can now start increasing it to what I want. And I'm holding the shift while adjusting it so that I won't lose my aspect ratio. Sure, you get. And then, because I use a rounded corner here, I should try to use that also for these guys too. So I can just use that here. And then what else? How I feel like I can just be looking and then commanding somebody to be designing it. So here now we have for sale here. So for sale here, I can just bring in a uh, uh i can introduce a text here that says for sale so for sale so for sale is going to take up a uh, text layer uh it's too big actually you can have 12 here so i can put it on auto layout and then k zero zero so side by side i can now give it five and then the fill i can give it a fill of uh primary and then yeah so 50 percent but it should be no there so that people can easily see it let me give it this orange color and then break it up give it 50. uh still lost lost i know what to do i will change this color to our normal primary color and then break it up, give it our uh, 25%. Then hold this to 10. What if I give this one light color? Oh, well. Light color. Let's see it from afar. It's okay. I guess the, the, the ray in that corner is giving us wrong information. Yeah, the ray in that corner is giving us wrong information, I guess. So let me increase this one to 45. Okay. 
thing. Then we need, I just note that we need um, a text layout here. A text layout. This our our guy here is to paragraph. 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 This our guy here is too much. So we just need to uh change it to 12 change this guy also to 12 and then this guy still to uh probably 12. Yeah. and the then it's paragraph Paragraph in there. Then paragraph. Okay. So that's every other one that we are going to be doing. And like this, we can just have it as where is it? Paragraph media. It's still even big. Why? Well, since we use it somewhere, we use twelve here. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, I think I'll just need to go and change it over there that we can all be on the same page. Uh, medium. Yeah. So, okay. Then, Chopping complex, lucky this one, this one, this one. So bring it in here. And then what do we do next? We adjust it. We adjust it. Somebody, oh yeah, let's see suggestion. The shopping complex, what font size are we using? The Lake Lagos, that's the location, what font size and color are we using? The pricing, what font size and color are we using? And then the building, it has um, a container, and I mean a container in it, what size and font are we doing? So I don't want to be the only one in this class. So nobody. Shopping complex. This is font for the shopping complex, sir. Huh? For the shopping complex, we can have um, what? 35, 35 font size. Body medium or body bold. Should be bold. Okay. Then Lucky Lagos. Lucky Lagos should be 28. Twenty-eight like this. Oh no, it's too big. Yeah, sorry, sixteen. Let's put sixteen. That should be lesser because of uh, like this. Yes. Okay. This one. 
Um, it should it should just be lesser. If it's only if it's thin, that means it should be lesser. It should be, be it should be lesser too. But currently, if you go let's say like ten or something like that, like this. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Then Polade is talking now. Someone else will give us the color that we are going to be using for this. You know, we don't just want it black as if we are we are designing for 1982. So even 1982, they use color. I mean 1632 when I was in uh, Port, uh, Port Novo then. Don't mind me. All right. OK, building. Somebody give us the color. Uh, I mean, sorry, the font. We can still maintain our paragraph, I guess. Paragraph medium. And then it should have at least um, this. OK. Nobody. Anybody from anywhere, even if you are eating, you can talk. So what's the question again, sir? Sorry. OK, the question is, we've been doing this now. We've structured the shopping complex, the, the, the address, the price, and also now this is the category, building category. So what font? Okay, we've used media for it. This one also, I guess, should be media. Let's just stick to this. And then this one is old. This one is this, this one is this, this one is this, this one is this. Okay, so now somebody is sending us a note. The pricing, the orange, the building white text in blue shape. Okay, let's the building white text in blue shape. Uh, five zero and and feel blue shape that's white and okay, let's give it rounded corner of tank as well as what we've been using and we give the spacing left and right more and more let's just see 15 as what we've been using before and then okay Hola, Mr. Richard. Your reason? Yes, I, I wanted to say that can the building be smaller? Yes, it can. Okay. That so that it's just the, like, it won't take the attention then. of the price. So, 2,000 Naira. This is the price here. Or we should add an icon to it. That says on splash there. No, I'm not using on splash. Well, so yeah. I can have that a fur. Let me just use it so the wallet spacing should be then as we've been using. And then we should have uh, location to here.
location. So twelve remove this and then Lekki Lagos. And the Lekki Lagos is carrying Parabo. Parabo. Remove this. Then take it off. Then uh, this and this. This should be an auto layout. Then this and this. So we have this and the pricing the orange. Ah no, we can't have the pricing to the orange. The orange here, if we have orange, 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 it will just turn to orange seller. So look at it. It won't really match. So we can then what if we have our dark color here? And then Sorry, our uh, dark color should be here. And then this one should speak up at least. Yeah. So. I'll show it here. Ah. I'm not giving it enough shadow. Let's see if I can give it for here. Yes. Or better still, I should. Just and just to Oh, okay. This building is just standing like this, and then the drifting is quite too much. Yeah. Okay. Any other thing, guys? Do we need to adjust any other thing? This one is seven. Let's maintain our five. Let me see if we have some things that we just need to add. Okay, we have navigation here also that we can as well use. So, so far, so good. So far, so good. We can have the Chevron, Chevron right. Chevron right. So, right here. Right here, I change this to that. What oh, man is taking myself? Try Yeah. So far, so good. Okay. So what else, what else are we designing? And then remember that it will be scrolling. So maybe you can do that one yourself. I will just explain how you're gonna do it. But latest properties now is what next we got to do. Latest properties. And remember the tactile line spacing that we've applied, you can still maintain them. So latest properties. This one's supposed to be at the same time. 
various properties uh, dark mode then it's quite almost the same so i can just bring this duplicate it down here yeah and then make sure it's properly aligned okay so here we have this we can just change the uh, the image yes and then land land price whatever let's just come down to on splash and then change let's see land hmm this is where i want to sell Paladi, will you buy this place you build your mansion here very well, the water. Very well. uh, yes i'm buying it already this is where i want to sell to um that's right so she will she will have time to play and live her baby life so oh this place this place this place i will sell this place when who will i sell this let me find one gentle person that knows to talk in the class rashida rashida will, will buy this place i believe yes that. amen eh, okay okay so let's just look for a, a place this one looks like real something here so this one looks landy okay so because we are using auto layout it will be very easy for us to to work with the first thing we just need to do is note the the, the dimension of this image here this one is carrying one the width is 145 and then the height is 107 so just note that and then apply that to to this just say 145 or better still you can just get only the height only the height will take you there hmm? only the height and then when you get only the height you know the height shouldn't change then you can use that for the width by locking this when you've locked it just change only the height by saying 107 it will give you the proper width of this image not anyhow image and remember we used um rounded corner for this also just give this one also 10 and that's all then drag dash it inside this auto layout remove this one and then boom we are there so i've removed something okay sorry let me bring it back yeah i remembered ah we added something here before sorry oh sorry i just need to um bring it up why is it why is it free why is it free that's why i prefer to name all these guys so i just need to bring it up yeah so here i will i will bring this guy in here and then where is it yeah so i'll group them all together do we have them in a container no so we do not have them all in a container however we can apply it's uh, a line across it so we know that this desire developers will know where it stops and then then the line shouldn't be so visible we can just give it also a primary stroke like this so here we have the line yeah so that's all for this then we can group all these guys together control just put them in a frame i prefer that frame selection and then grab this duplicate them bring them down 
So here now, we can just look for another land and then duplicate, 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 duplicate. I don't need to be talking more on that here and then here. Instead of me doing different things, okay, let me just put this also in a frame so I will know that uh, this guy and then this guy should be together in a frame, frame selection at the top. Yeah. So I will remove this. So starting from the second one, we will have the line. So I'll bring this and then this together. I will shift A. I will add auto layout to it. Did you see this? Auto layout is on it now. And then I will now select this one and control D, duplicate it. Did you see it now? Duplicate, duplicate, and then probably I continue duplicating it. So let me just see if I can prototype directly from the preview here. If I can preview, that is one of the power of Figma now. I can quickly preview my design. Or let me come down to prototype, see prototype settings, device. Let's select iPhone 13 mini. And then it's awesome. I will need to pick up my color, uh, my dark color, my dark color as the background. my prototype the background should be my dark color yeah it's nice um blah 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 yeah so this is my prototype now i can just bring it out so that i can see it very well but pending the time that it loads i guess it's loading let's wait for it a bit so that I will know as we move. Yeah, so this is our design. You can see it's scrolling, but as we are scrolling, uh, one thing is that this guy is too close to the top. We just need to quickly close this and then do some little adjustments with it. So yeah, 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 and then... Uh, Yeah. From the PA downward, we just need to bring them down a bit and check it out. Yeah. So, in that sense, I will just need to adjust this guy and then make sure that I sorry. I need to make sure that, let me put this down here and then adjust. Mm -hmm. I know because of this component, I will not be able to, I won't be able to uh, adjust that. In that sense, I will need to go down to my design uh, system and then rush down here, adjust this top guy here and then bring these guys down a bit yeah so that i will have a better deal oh, that's too much actually that's actually too much let me see oh i've moved this let me start it from the beginning. From the right top. Yeah. So design system coming down here, raising it down a bit, then bringing this down. Oh my God. Yeah. So at least it's still better like this. Get the best. And then we want this guy to be sticky at the top so what do we do what do we do what do we do what do we do so guys come down here scroll it sorry uh this guy scroll with parent fixed or oh, let me say sticky 
top edge. So when I scroll, it's staying at the top. Uh, yeah, it's staying at the top. So that's for that. And then we need to see our footer too. Our footer, our brother, our dear brother footer is not, the truth matter is, the footer is not inside the frame. It's a standing outside. This is the footer and this is our frame. So this is our frame. And then the bottom nav is standing here. And this is the frame. So it's not even inside. That is why it's not appearing at all in the prototype. So we just need to bring it inside. Now it's inside. Let's see it. Yeah. Did you see it, guys? So it's now rolling with it, rolling with the big boys. So just need to click on here, come down to the prototype, and then um, scroll with parent. Fix in place yeah so it's already fixed and then the top and bottom is fixed the top and bottom is fixed okay but if you look at it very well the last something here is not showing it's not showing at all which is a very very bad um prototyping so what we need to do now is um what we need to do now is we we tell this guy that it should scroll vertically and then reduce this guy here. And then clip content. So if you look at it before, there is a caution here. There is a caution here. So in fact, this guy is too much. Let me leave it here so that uh, users can see. Yes. Now they can see this, our scrolling guy here. All these guys are now fixed. This is what I was explaining before, but this is not what we want to achieve. We want to achieve the latest property should be scrolling. And at the end of it all, how many do we have here? I can't really count them. One, two, because, okay, let me just rename all of them. I will say on click content. So shopping complex, uh, Shopping one, shopping two. So this one should be shopping three. This one should be shopping four and uh, five. Let me rename them so that I'll be able to get two, two, three. You only seen three because the three stops here. And then we can't have access. We, we don't have access to others. So what do we do? What do we do? Let's do like this first. Clip content. Come down here. Particular scrolling. And then say it up. Latest properties. We are seeing up to five now. One, two, three, four, five. Did you guys say it? Now, at the bottom here, you can see that we have five scrolling properties here. So we can easily scroll down and then we see all the things that uh, we have. One, five, four, three, two, one. Then we can reduce our, our frame. Yeah, we can now reduce our frame. This is the fifth one. This is, this is what we want to achieve. But at the bottom here, we want to have, uh, we want to have pagination. Yeah, we want to have pagination actually. Mm. Pagination also is good. But I will leave you guys to do that yourself. You should add pagination here. So, I guess that's the first thing you are going to be doing for today. And then this one also, you will have pag add pagination and then add scroll here. As I've done vertical, it's just the same thing as horizontal. You just need to add more things. Let me even test how you can do quick research for yourself and then see how fast and fast you can. Oh, we still have more things like heading. 
Okay, so with that, we can quickly increase this guy then. Here is our top bar. Top bar. Why did you go there? Okay, you are still on the same page. Somebody did not tell me now. I thought Bam moved. Okay, we just need to increase this guy real quick. And then, sorry. I know if I should adjust this thing, this guy we adjust. I just need to change it to the top in case some of you might encounter such. Let me put it back to the bottom. And then I will adjust this guy here. If I should adjust this frame, you will discover that this guy also moved with it. This header also moved with it. It's because the alignment, the constraints alignment that I put is that if I'm adjusting at the bottom, it should be moving with it. That's what this guy is quite doing. So I will just undo so that you guys will see. Click on it again, put it to the top so that by the time I adjust this guy at the bottom, it's not going to adjust at the top again. So I will quickly do some uh, the newsletter now. Uh, let me leave you guys to do that one. You can do it. I will just increase this so that you can quickly do the newsletter. Yeah, we still need to do the drop down. We still have a lot of things to do. But I, actually, I can. I know I can finish this guys. Only if Eliana can help me. Okay, so we have this filter, and that is where I'm going to be stopping for today after finishing this filter because I've quite finished all this. So I'll just copy this, and then come down to this I drive, and then paste it up, and uh, remove this, bring this in. And then, 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 then duplicate this guy. Then adjust all the things we have here. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Bring them down. Oh, wow. Just let me use the highlight to do it. Yeah, I can still bring them up. Okay. So when I click on filter, first thing, this guy changes zero. So I can. Bring up this. Yeah. Then still use these tiles that I'm using at the top here. So, first thing first, I change this location to para medium. And then this one is. Parabola. Let's just break it and then this guy should be same down. Same down. And uh ba -ba so this color 
This color is our light primary color. And then takes this a bit. And then let's apply this color, this true. Okay, true, okay, it's too large. Okay. So, oh, group, I'm saying all these things, and I'm saying, ah, there is a comment here. So, back here. Uh, location. So the location will just come down here. And then this guy also will change its color. One E one E one E. So and two keys. Property, high property, it's going to be an auto layout, button, and then set to active, set to active with a light color, and then on it we have uh, centralized. 20 rounded corner, up and bottom, three, and then bring it down. So, look at this. Then, um, remove the field. Range property. Range property. So this one will only take a stroke of white. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or what if we have this one to take? A background of black, this, and then the text inside it should be light. And then, no, it will not be fine. It's too harsh. Yeah, it will be too harsh. So let's leave it like this. At least this tells users that this one is the most, is the active one. So buy property, then uh, which color do we use? Primary light. Okay. Then we have um, landed property, uh, property types. We have the property types. So somebody 
give me the color or we should maintain our okay or we should maintain our blue okay let's just maintain our blue then we have this year location as eight property type uh, uh, so for a medium break it up eight then what's the color is wacky 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 okay Oh, and then and then <laughs> oh Sorry. Okay, so we have uh, we have landed property. Then we can have it as medium here. medium here and then same thing applies to this uh, medium so here we can have this and then this one should be the secondary light but the secondary light might be fainting so we can have this here so that's for that this one and this one let me remove the group and then use my property layout on group layout then okay. bring these guys together I do it layout so we have them all the way then price, I can just duplicate what I have here as price. So here now, I can duplicate what I have here as price. So price, enter price, our amount. out so we can use the wallet yeah okay, okay. so yeah Remember, we can still dash these guys down a bit. And then we have our button at the top here. I just bring it in. Say, show. 
that is for that. And then <coughs> let's group all these guys together. This one, this one, this one. These guys, one, two of the layout. They are container and them themselves of the layout. These guys also group them. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Then they apply also the layout. And see, it's moving everything to this left. So I need to just auto the layout this one first and then bring this one so that we can get the proper thing we want. So let's maintain the system that we are using before. So that's for that. If we if we have this drop down here, if we have this move down here and then what do we do next scroll with very no sorry on top interaction on top home screen yeah so prototype settings all right we have this now sorry I just need to bring up this so that you guys will see. Navigate to this plane. Let me use Smart Animate so that you can see it. Process for let me leave all this and then let's leave it to 300 milliseconds at least. It's okay for me. So, oh, sorry, let me take it back. So if I, if I click on this, I can come back here and then let me scroll down so that you guys can see. Still smart animals. Okay. So let's see. It's too fast. 300. Let me give it 800. So, so I can see. Ah, uh, the first one is instant. I give something like instant. Smart animate. It on okay. So, yeah, so that's what we have now. And then, after you click on show property, we can go to the single property. Thank you, everyone. Do we have any questions? Make sure you fill up your attendance now. Do we have anybody with any question? Anybody with any question? Okay, okay. Do you want to ask question? Um, okay, thank you, sir. Sir, please, I do not fully get like how you customize the scrolling screen. How I customize it? Yes, like how you actually did it and placed it inside the main screen. Oh, I don't then another thing i want to ask is like if we want to maybe select dark mode do we have to like create other screens like different yes, things or yes. do it to automatically yes, yes no 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 I, the one i understand in your question is how you can set the dark uh the, the dark mode the dark mode you need to design your dark mode for example, look at this now. If I have this, I can, if I want to convert these guys to dark mode, then I will need to first of all change all these, uh, this one. I can change this one to, let's say, primary light, this guy and this guy, and this guy to uh, primary light. So maybe this step here also, uh, Primary light. I just want to do a quick sample and then all this blue, blue something here. I change them to primary light, primary light, primary light, because I'm coming up with something primary light. Then this one, 
this one, this one, this one. Um, primary light. Okay, let me stop here now. And then I change the entire screen here to um, to dark mode. So this one also cannot be changed because I'm getting, okay, let me just change it to dark mode. Did you see it? So let's assume that this is the toggle button. So when I come down here and I click on um, this guy here, comes down here. And then, yeah, it's on red. When I click on, when I click on this, it comes down here. Yes. So let's check it out. It is it. So let's assume this is a dark mode. Then I can come down here. This is the light mode. This is the dark mode. This is the light mode. So I just need to change all the content of my design. And then it changes from dark mode to the light mode for me. That's it. Do you get that? And then do you have another question? Did you have another, you question? Have another question? No, sir. It's just the first one, like how you actually did the scrolling screen because I do not fully get it. The scrolling screen. Okay. Um, we will talk about that one in the next class because it's past 12 and I don't want only one person. Assuming you've asked before, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have gone this far. That's why I used to ask if there's, if there's any question. But if you can wait a bit, I can quickly explain it to you. But I'm saying goodbye, everybody. Thank you very much. Do you, If you know you have another question, you can wait. I will ask, answer your question. But if you don't have any other question, uh, I just want to recap what I explained initially. Thank you, everyone. God bless you. Why am I spiritual? Thank you. You can go home.